Hi my friends, um, it's my second day and um, I slept amazing. <laughs> it's really the afternoon, oh my gosh, it is 12.30, I can't believe it. I did get up twice um, for potty break, especially for Buster, he is on diuretics and he won't make it that long, you know, for, for potty, but you know, but you know, his potty break and my potty break, you know, but, um, so what happened is he, he, the second time I left him on the floor when we came back in and he was having still, you know, trouble set, settling back inside the room or back in this area. So I left him on the floor and he did so much better. He just crashed a flat on the floor. I think maybe he just wanted something a little more firmer and he settled right back down and he slept like a baby. Um, and he's still very quiet, no panting, he's content. They're both in the kennel. So um, I think that's just where he wanted to be. Back here is a little bit more softer and it's funny how I prefer things softer. And But was still with the Tempur-Pedic, you have that support as well with it. But um, I, yeah, so we both did, all did great in the end once we figured out where each one needed to be. Um, now, um, back in here, uh, <laughs> I have a lot to do today. Oh, and first I want to say why I didn't film a lot of what happened yesterday was because I um, spent most of the time at the storage unit. So for those of you um, that might not have caught my earlier videos or know, or maybe you're new here, go back and see those earlier videos because everything got thrown into my van. So I couldn't even walk in my van when I left my roommate situation because we had to leave in such a hurry. So um, really yesterday was um, all about going to the storage unit. Uh, trying to get some more stuff up to the storage unit, maybe pull out some stuff out of it that I might need. So that's basically what yesterday was about, and it would have been really boring. So that was my first day in my van, other than the more, I saw the more exciting part was towards the end when, you know, I went to Freddy's and then, you know, learning how to, you know, feed them, where to feed them, we're working that out and where to sleep. So... Um, that's basically why I left that part out and I knew things were going to change I wasn't done um, so today is going back to the storage unit for a little bit I need to organize this back in I'm going to show you what's going on but I have my clothes in this tub right here and um, and then also I have some cooking stuff in this tub and I really feel that there's way too much weight I still need to stock up on my dog's uh, dry f or canned food. That's going to put some weight. So I need to be able to disperse the weight around, I feel, inside here. Uh, their clothes is in the very, very back. Um, so I do need to condense that down. So that's pretty much my plans today. I'm going to go to Fred Meyer's. I'm going to get a couple more tubs. Just spread things out since I decided to go ahead and seal this area up back in here. I've got more room that I can also disperse things underneath. And I just think that's what I'm going to need to do to be smart. Um, I am very concerned of too much weight on this side. And that's why I hated to show you guys too much um, at first because I know some things are going to change. Um, but other than that, and I know on this side is the bed and I have the memory foam. I have the, um, you know, the bed part that came with the van. Um, the memory foam, three inches, one inch of the topper that I have and the three inch Tempur-Pedic top topper. So I have all of that going on this side, but I still know that I have way too much heavy bulk, heavy weight items on this other side. So my goal today is to fix this. And um, I, am con I am very, very concerned about this. All right, so um, with that in mind, that's my day. I will film parts and pieces of it um, probably as the day goes on. And then I will be doing a finale, you know, of inside and and, and I still have to show you more of the outside. I know I haven't got there, but I was under that push to get out. So um, there's still so much more to show you guys. Um, I do want to show you, I got these LED little pop-up lights and they're um, Velcroed up. And I have three of them throughout and they just run on LED and has a, um, 
you know, bright and then a more dim and then, oh my gosh, it was amazing. And I have a package of LED batteries. They seem to last a long time. Uh, it takes three triple A's, got them at Home Depot. But I love these things. They really helped last night when I was in here um, doing stuff last night and getting ready for bed. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I love it. So I have three, one here, one above my pantry, and I'll be showing you more of those as I show the whole complete van. And one, um, you know, as, as you come in. All right, so, oh, and the Reflectix, oh my gosh, what a dream. I have this one up in the end, the ones on the sides, um, the one in the front on the side windows. They really helped a lot. I think that's why we were able to, we're still in here, and it's very, very comfortable in here, getting into the afternoon. All right, so, well, that's it for my start, my first day, my first morning. Um, sorry about the time, it's like six minutes. And I want to be able to show you more things as the day goes on, okay? All right, but uh, it's all coming together like a, like a puzzle, <laughs> one piece at a time. All right, so see you in the next clip. Hi, right, guys, this is my spot that I picked in this area. And um, see, so you have a nice little tree that's um, over the van and it's just in a really cool little kind of industrial area there has been this guy that's been living in this um, trailer that i've noticed um, for a long time because i do come to uh, a place over here, nearby that's my special place that i always go to but i noticed that that you know trailer has been there and no one's ever told him to leave and it's like he's got it parked you know and he has a truck but you know again nobody said anything there's another um tray or van rv back there so i just knew that this would be the perfect spot and it's got the grass area for the dogs for me to let them out for potty and so it just worked out perfectly all my shade stuff around the um, van worked out really well so i just wanted to give you that quick little update Hi, I just want to clear um, up something because I had done some editing with my videos and I took one out that I decided, nah, I don't want to, I don't want to put this in. And so, um, but briefly in there, I talked about a couple that I had met. And so in the next video clip after this one, I talk about that and then I remembered I took it out. So just real quickly, I want to talk about uh, what had happened is I'm um, where, where I parked the van earlier in that one minute clip that I did about the van on the street where I slept. Um, I'm over here filming the, you know, the, the Explorer and I'm on the street. And so this lady comes up to me and she's like, excuse me, what are you filming? And what's, you know, what's in this area? Cause she was in an RV, you know, <laughs> and she was just thinking, am I missing something? What's going on in this area? That's so exciting that you're filming, you know? And then I said, no, 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 I have a YouTube channel and, you know, and I'm filming for my friends and, you know, just what's going on and where, you know, where I slept in my first night and all this stuff. And so I explained to her what was going on basically. And then, so we just got to chatting and she was just a super sweet lady. And then her husband came over and we started talking. So, you know, that was just this wonderful time that I had. And we talked for about an hour and a half or so, and we exchanged numbers and it was just so cool to meet, you know, new people that way. So anyways, but Lewis, I know you're gonna say, be safe, what are you doing, <laughs> you know? And, um, but honestly, it was a really safe, um, you know, the whole atmosphere, where it was at, the daytime, but I know things can still happen in the daytime, guys. I, I, I can tell you a, a horrible story of, of someone that I know's daughter who did get, you know, unfortunately murdered um, in five o'clock in an August in a parking lot. Um, so I know those things can happen and I will be careful, I promise. Um, but I felt this was totally safe, okay? Just everything was safe and I will be mindful and, and of my safety, um, but I know anything can happen, but I'm not gonna live my life in fear either. So anyways, it turned out to be really, really great, um, you know, and so anyways, that's that little clip after this one that I talk about a couple or a person that I met. Um, 
be, uh, but anyway, so um, with that in mind, uh, everything's okay, and uh, and I know I can be a little extra friendly, <laughs> but but I'm also careful through it as well, okay? But anyways, it was a great time, great moment of meeting this, this couple and lady. They were traveling from Florida, and um, yeah, in an RV, and it was, it was just, yeah, it was a great time today. All right, with that in mind, I'm going to get this out so you guys can see my second day and everything that happened. Hi my friends, um, I'm outside of a Starbucks. I did get my um, comments, some of my comments, um, you know, caught up a little bit. I tried, <laughs> I was like pretty tired today. Oh my gosh, it's just, I can't believe how it's taking me so long to reboot. But remember, I had to get caught up with like several days of sleep. Um, yeah, so that getting up at 1230 really helped and then I just took my time and tried to get going and oh my gosh So it was just I don't know a lazy kind of a day and I know I shouldn't have been like that today. But anyways um, So I came to Starbucks had my coffee and now I'm walking them around a little bit and it's pretty safe in this area It's very lit and behind me is um, over here is, is a is a Marriott um over there and uh there's a shopping center across the way that i always go to the, and food and so yeah it's a pretty cool place over here here's the pup sorry i'm <laughs> trying not to switch the camera because i'm just gonna let this be my last one it's a little cool so they're in their little sweaters or not sweaters but t-shirts it is a little bit cooler they like to bark at people going by <laughs> but uh yeah there's my pups <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to do a little walk around the Marriott because it is so safe in this area. And then uh, there's the Explorer behind me and uh, where the Starbucks was at. And, uh, and then I'm going to get inside and work on organizing a few other things, their meds, my meds. Um, and then uh, their clothes. I got to pull out some of their clothes. I don't think I need to take a, their clothes. They have a lot of clothes like me. <laughs> don't laugh. Deborah Joy, don't laugh. Um, so I got to thin that down. And I didn't make it to the storage unit today, but my friend is coming out, my, my little angel friend, <laughs> tomorrow to help me um, and then maybe get to the storage unit and wrap that up and finish that up and, and uh, work on I gotta do the weight on my um, clothes. I am worried about the Explorer. Um, I don't know, I keep staring at it. I don't know you guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I wanna say it's leaning on that left side, or right side, I don't know if you can see. I'll try to get behind it. Maybe it's just my eyes, I don't know if you see it, but I'll keep checking the air from the, um, you know, but it, it does look like it's kind of leaning always a little more on that right side you know which is where all the clothes and the pots and pans and i don't know are you guys able to see i'm gonna try to come up a little bit closer here i know the pups are going to get in there but see how it's, it's kind of leaning and i don't know and i can't i can't think that it's always the ground that's making it lean like that so i'll check the air tomorrow and uh and get some of that weight off on that side because it is concerning to me that I need to disperse it a little bit more in there. So you can tell me what you think, hopefully, and I'll go back and look at this and hopefully it picked it up, but it just does seem a little angled, which I think too much weight, I don't know. But uh, I don't wanna get into trouble and, or I don't know, ruin something underneath there, the shock system, um, whatever could be underneath there if I was to have that much weight um, on that side uh, too long. So um, yeah, that is a concern. <laughs> All right, so I gotta thin something out, move things around, I don't know, something, but I'll work on it. Um, so that's gonna be my project tomorrow before I head down on to the coast. All right, so with that in mind, this is my second day and um, just settling, still settling in, um, but it, it's all been a great day and uh, I, I was so excited to meet those people earlier. Oh my gosh, I really can't say how exciting um, that was to meet new people and uh, have a great conversation with them. So anyway, so that's kind of been my day, second day. 
Um, I don't know if I'll post anything tomorrow other than, I don't know, just getting on my way down to the coast. Um, we'll see if, 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 I don't know, if anything's worth, you know, filming, I will. If not, then I'm just going to film on my way getting down and, um, and just start the coastal adventure, okay? All right, so I love you guys. I'm really having a great time <laughs> in my new adventure. And, um, yeah, so everything is going great okay so I'll, I'll talk to you guys real soon i love you and have a great night great day um everything whenever you've seen this all right i'll talk to you later bye bye